is the truth anyway. A real mom can have a child that went out there and done some of the most horrible things in this world, but mama still loved them. Amen. Amen. Daddy said, you know, they get with whatever come their way. Hey, that's what they get. Daddy said, that's what they get. But mama said, I love my child. I know they committed murder. I still love them. I still love them. But you got to be taught that sometimes. Young lady, you got to be taught that when you get married, you got to love your husband. You got to love your children. You got to love your children. If you love your children, you love your husband, <laughs> your marriage will work. Your marriage will work. But if you hate your children and you hate your husband, you're going to have some issues. You're going to have some problems. And so the older women must teach them to love. Love is not always natural. You got to be taught it. You got to be taught to love a person when they make mistakes. You got to be taught to love a person even though they mess up, even though they do stupid stuff. You got to be taught that. And the older women have got to teach the young women that. Amen. 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 To be discreet, chase, keep us at where? At home. <laughs> keep us at home. Good, obedient to their own husband. Sometimes, some mother, let me tell y'all, mother, something. That was a married woman. Obey your own husband if he's saved. If he ain't saved, he tells you to do something right, still do it. Man may not be saved, but he tells you he got all that money, got no business spending all that money. Well, well, guess what? You need to stop. Putting all that money on that credit card. Guess what? You need to stop. He may not be saved. He ain't stuck the Lord. He don't even come to church. But if he can, you need to hold out. You hold out. Amen. And you got to be told that. Some of them got the mentality. He say he can't tell me nothing. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. Because when the light bill get cut off, you're going to be looking at him even though he ain't saved. Then come up with some money from somewhere. Even though he ain't been more saved, you look at Paul, baby, what we going to do? Baby, what we going to do? Then you want to be submissive then, huh? Amen. Oh. Amen. You're going to submit then. Amen. Yeah. To be discreet, Chase, keep us at home. To stay at your own house. Oops. To stay at home sometimes. Good. Obedient to the own of That the word of God be not blasphemed. Amen. Here we go. Pastor John Pick. You ever walk, walk through the clock in the morning every time I see you? Uh oh. First of all, you ask me what you do to walk walk past you. I'm asking you what you do to walk walk. <laughs> I'll be looking at you saying, what you do to walk walk? <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Amen. But see, it's not like keeping it on. That the word of God be not blessing. Young men, likewise. But I'm going to tell you something. You have got to be taught this. A good mother will teach their children that. A good mother will teach the children to stick and stay. A good mother will teach them to learn, teach them to, to teach to teach her daughters. Baby, please don't be confrontational all the time. Everything no, I don't deserve an argument. Right. One of the best things sometimes in America, as a mother, one of the best things you can do is be quiet. Pray. Snap your own people. It's true. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14. But see, a good mother, it's hard to come by. I thank God for my wife. I got a blessed, I'm blessed. I got a beautiful woman of God, love the Lord. And I'm, I know I'm blessed. And I know I'm exceedingly abundantly blessed. Every time I think about it, I don't know no, I personally don't know no one that has had eight children in 10 years, 11 years of marriage, not quite 11 years of marriage, have, have conceived and had eight children in what, 11 years of marriage. Not quite, only oh, been 11 years. It will be in September. So guess what? Most of my marriage, she's been pregnant. Most of our marriage, she's been pregnant. And I'm not down to my sanctified suit, but I don't know a whole bunch of sanctified women that would do that. <laughs> Amen. I always stuff that my wife had to put up with since we've been in the ministry. People speaking death on us and all kind of crazy stuff. We went to the ministry, somebody talking about you gonna, you gonna die, you're gonna get sick. I said, Lord Jesus. Prophesying negative, tapping into witchcraft and becoming a warlock and all that kind of mess. That I mean, people doing all this kind of, in the house of God. Thank God for a wife that's stuck in huh? That's the truth. Y'all don't understand. It's a blessing to have a woman of 
what God was saying. And a lot of some people don't want to be pastors. Well, you need to get your hand checked. The Lord, the Lord ain't called you up here. You ain't got no business being up here trying to lead the people of God because you can and will fall. All the kind of stuff we got to put away. I thank God for a beautiful woman of God. I thank God for a wife that's a good mother to our children. The average woman couldn't walk in her shoes. The average saint couldn't walk in her shoes. <laughs> All right, 2 Corinthians chapter number 2, verse number 12, verse 14. Dealing with mamas, chapter number 12 and verse 14. Are we there yet? And the Bible says, for the, oh, now I'm in the first Corinthians, the second Corinthians, I got to turn on chapter number 2, uh, number 12, verse 14. See what the word of God say. And the Bible says, Hallelujah. Well, I'm almost done. Behold, the third time I, I, I am ready to come to you, and I will not be a burden to you, for I seek your, I seek not yours, but you. For the children not to lay up for their parents, but the parents for the children. What am I saying? If your mom, if your mom, you need to be making preparation, if your dad, you need to be making preparation for your children. You need to be making preparation for your children. What are you going to leave them when you leave this world? What are you going to leave them? Papa was a rolling stone. Whatever he laid his hand was his own. And when he died, child, all he left us was alone. <laughs> what are you going to leave your children? The Bible teaches us that we need to lay up for our children. Mama, what are you going to leave your children? Daddy, what are you going to leave your children? Parents, what are you going to leave your children? Well, the Lord called me to be a housewife. What are you going to leave your child you leave this earth? I'm not here to promote black insurance, but I'm telling you, if I die, I'm going to leave my child plenty. My children are going to have some. If my wife dies, she's going to leave them plenty. Yes, Lord. It's the truth anyway. You got to be willing to start some of your children. <laughs> That's the Bible. A good mom will do that. A good mom that leave this earth and leave something on this earth for their children. Leave something. If it ain't nothing but knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you're going to teach your child this. You're going to teach your child that. You're going to instruct your child. A good mom will do that. We all move down. Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 23. Ephesians chapter 5. Dinner with Mother's Day. Train them up. Train them up. Train your children, mom. Somebody say, Dad ain't around for good daddy. He just ain't around. Train them up, mom. Instruct them. Give them wisdom. Give them understanding. Stop using that excuse that dad ain't around. So what? Dad ain't around. Mama, you train them. Mama, you instruct them. Mama, you lead them. Mama, you mentor them. Are we there yet? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. See if the word of God says. You got it for me. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm down now. Verse 23, the word of God says, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is saving the body. Therefore, as, the, as Christ is the church, as the church, is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be subject to their own husband in everything. What? A good mother will be subject to their husband. A good mother will not be always fighting and bickering with